Welcome viewers to my first official episode of Cypher 1. In this video I will be playing Project Spark which is currently in beta and of course requires a beta key. I will be going through the tutorial to shine perspective to new players and viewers. So here we go, let's get this started. Oh, you betcha I want to create a hero. Let's do this. Prop mode. All right. Opening it. Characters got it. All right, let's see what we can make. Let's make. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Put them there. Scale them up. You can scale them. I don't think they'll let me in the tutorial. All right. The brain editor is essentially like giving your um, whatever it is, whatever object. Uh, artificial intelligence, or at least pre-programmed um, uh, what does what and how it reacts to you or how it reacts to other players. Not the greatest explanation, but it still gets the point across. So here you can um, macro keys. Uh, I, I believe that would be macroing. Um, basically assigning. I think would be a better term for it. I think that's the same thing. This is a bad start to my first video. More a screwing up. All right, let's see. Now, in the beginning, see, it doesn't follow my character, and that's an issue. So, to correct this, we go back to the brain. Space assigned to jump. Modifiers pressed so that it just doesn't infinitely jump. <clears throat> and this is for the camera. So it follows us. And here we are. Now let's add some attacks. First, we will add our melee, then attack. Uh, secondly, we'll add an alternative attack. Might as well. And what will this alternative attack be? To shoot. And that would be fire that we will make come out of there. All right, let's see what we can do now. And we can throw fireballs. This is madness. <clears throat> Select prop mode. All right, let's uh let's put a goblin down. Put him right there. Can we scale him? Tank not yet. And he is destroyed. Alright, now let's see what else we can do. R and F to zoom. Let's go to sculpt mode. And here you can well, let's change that. You can change the size, intensity of the brush to be able to let's uh get some view on that. You're able to bam at it. 
and then uh let's see keep expanding till it's majestic let's go next I said that's a majestic uh, mountain thing. All right. And now you can flip it, and you can actually erode. So I can, let's say I made a mistake, and I'm like, oh, man, this is way too big. People are going to get mad. No one's going to want to touch this. How are you going to get up there? So, many, so much mystery. You can get rid of it. All right, let's reduce the intensity of the brush. Oops, I just put a hole in the ground. Well, that didn't make it any better. Uh, let's add some color to the mountain. Of course, you have a paintbrush tool. And uh, I think you can custom which ones are where. And uh, let's add that one. Let's add some green to that mountain. And of course, again, you can change, uh, you can actually change the object, or the shape rather, between a cylinder square and circle. So let's fill that in. Not that it matters. This probably will be deleted. Uh, yes, that is an awe inspiring mountain. And see, now it adds a little more texture to the world. The world feels a little more real. Let's go back to the edit. Let's make a path. All right, so again, paint tool. And then you... Let's make that a little smaller. Let's make it a square. What, what's going on? Select the second. Why does it highlight that one? Uh oh, glitch. Hold shift. Oh, that's nice to know. Now you can shrink it down. Make it big by holding shift. Great. <clears throat> Pick a path. So, I think that. Bring that smaller. Make that to a square. Oh. It's telling us to do something else. No, I do not want to do that. We want to put a stone path on. Make that a stone path. Leading upwards towards the mountain that has nothing on it. Then a path that probably no one will walk on. That leads back in a circle. Creating madness between the player and the goblin. Because you know that goblin's going to keep respawning. Oh yeah. Alright. So, select prop. <clears throat> now let's add, let's add a, a coin so it gives the game a purpose. So kill the goblin, take the coin, you win. Now you can change the properties. And we can clone them. Now this is useful so that you can place many of them. All right. Little vegetation. So let's put some trees in. I like how you can just type in tree, bam, done. Let's get these uh these trees right here. And you can scale them, which I like. By uh dragging this over. Whoa. Whoa, something's happening. 
Okay, there we go. And then we can rotate it. Move it a little. Make the roots stick out. And that is the intro, the tutorial, rather, to Project Spark. I will be doing future videos that will be significantly more extensive. Thank you for watching Cypher 1 and stay classy.